be watching the Bobby and Barbara Peanuts show. Me and my husband, we show sure do. Tune in, y'all. We belong together, yeah, yeah. And you know that, and you know that. YouTube, it's your boy Pop Your Collar Bobby and Bobber B. Nice. Today we're doing another beer review. We got our boy in the building again. You want to say your name or you want me to introduce you? BK. Mr. Serious BK. Okay, <laughs> so we're doing an IPA beer, Indian Pale Ale beer, which is called, I can't pronounce it. We're going to let Barbara tell you what it is. What it is? What, how you say this? La Gudita. Okay, whatever she just said, you can see it. And the company is based out of California. It's based out of Lagunitas, California. But this particular beer here, the Lagunitas Brewing Company is also out of California and they have one in Chicago, Illinois. And shout out to Fierro Boy 86 because he drinks IPA beers. Do you like IPA beers? Not necessarily. Have you ever had an IPA I've beer? I've had several. To me, IPA beers are very colorful. When I go on that aisle, all I see is a bunch of colorful stuff. So it, it gets your attention. And they do have, uh, let me turn this around. They do have uh, a hot ABV, alcohol by volume, because this is a 9.0, uh, 9.0, a 9%. We purchased it at um, Specs for $10.99. But I seen it online at Total Wine for $9.99. I could have saved a dollar, man. So, uh, Fierro Boy 86, I know you say you like stuff like this. Go to Total Wine and get it. You'll save a dollar, $9.99. But I got this at Specs. It come in a, what was it, a six pack? Yeah. Yes. It came in a six pack. That's pretty good for uh, that high ABV, alcohol by volume, for 10, 11 bucks, 9%. That is pretty cheap. Because usually when you go up in that, especially for a six pack, you're going to pay, what, maybe 15, 16, 17, 18 bucks? Sometimes only for a four pack. So any, anything else you guys would like to share about this beer? No, let's pop it first. Let's go so, ahead and pop it. Yeah, because like I said, we're not too familiar with this. Each, each one of us already said, did you, how do you feel about uh, IPA beers? I'm sorry, I didn't ask you. They're okay. Um, when we go different places, I tend to pick those because they have the high ABV. So I like to try them just because, but I'm not a fan. But I'm not a fan. So okay. let's go ahead and get to the taste test. We're going to pop the bottles. Oh my goodness. The tops are running off. Oh yeah. These glasses are getting warm. This cheers after we pour, Barbara. There's no certain times to do a cheer. What does it smell like, BK? See, BK is a professional. He don't even pour the entire beer. He just get him a little taste or a sample full of it. What what do, what does that smell remind you of? I'm almost like a voodoo that that voodoo type. Voodoo ranger. Yeah. Almost picking up like some caramel or something. And the voodoo ranger, the 
Up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a little, uh, a little bit of apple, maybe. What you smell? This one here is kind of good. Okay, y'all ready for the taste test? Yep. I've already started. Typical IPA taste mm -hmm. to me. Uh, very bitter. Bitter. Yeah, the finish. The With finish, the finish is, bitter. is yeah, very bitter. Which, of course, the more ABV, the bitterness, but yeah. And I know this beer has a bitterness of 60. And uh, 60 out of, what is that, 100? Okay. I'm, I'm still You're not still a fan, I'm sorry. So that's on the high side. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan, only thing I like is the 9% ABV. That's that's the only thing that, that catches my attention. As far as the taste, I don't like the bitter taste. So, it's just, what do you give it? One to ten? One to ten, man. Whew. Would I, you give honestly, it the high nine? No, no, no. ABV? I would give it the low four, because I would definitely not purchase this again. Me it's just, this is not me. I'm just not a... What do I mean, me? me yeah. here. I would either... I'm not going to say I'm not a, a IPA guy. I just don't like this, this type. So. Lagunitas. Well, I'm not a IPA guy, and I don't like it either. I would give it a, maybe a two and a half. Oh, what? Oh, man. Oh, man. No. Ooh. Ooh, that was low. Yes. What would you give it, Barbara? Low blow. <laughs> <laughs> See, we... we we give them a little bit just because it's a nine ABV. You didn't even it. give it a five. We're using a little four. bit. Exactly. He gave it a two. <laughs> two and a half. Two and a half. Uh oh, okay, that's somebody else doing the points. Yeah. He didn't say two point five. He said two and a half. I would have said two point five. So I give it a three. Okay. Well, you got a three. You got a two and a half, three and a four. Uh, if you guys like this, man, y'all drop in the comments. Fierro Boy, let us know. Yeah, Fierro Boy, if you haven't... He's an IPA guy. Yeah, if you haven't tried this, go try it. And let me know what you think about it. Drop in the comments, you know. It's pretty cheap for, you know, what it is. Or what you can get for it. For a six-pack, yeah. Yeah, I'm just... I'm not into that bitter. It, it, and it's like a... It's like a long aftertaste. And when you burp, it's well, like, oh my goodness. It's, it's still there. If you could get past the taste and get, say, two or three under your belt, you'd probably be satisfied with it, with the performance of it. But the taste, well, unless you chase it with some liquor. Like Bob Lee well, does. Yeah. See, it yeah, tastes yeah. better after you chase it with some, I some bourbon. I wonder if that's why they gave the dog the black eye. But we appreciate you guys for checking out the channel. We appreciate BK for stopping by, sampling <coughs> some of this with us. And we'll let Barbara take us out again. We only get to do this once every blue. So thank you. You just did it the last review we had. This is right? why I don't take us out because he's always interrupting in things. <laughs> Thanks guys for rocking with us. Thanks, BK. Thank you. We out. See? <laughs> <laughs>